Hello everybody, welcome to Jim Shave. Midweek Shave, I'm only managing to do one video a week at the moment because I've been so busy. As you know, I was Italy, straight out of Austria. Uh, I was back in the UK for what? Oh, I don't know, not very long. Didn't get home, now I'm in North Wales. So I'm in North Wales for, for a week. What are we shaving with today? Okay, Bolt Drinks by Sterling. Tallow based though, be tallow based. Uh, Malibu, bubblegum, I get that source of scent from it myself. It's very nice, it's strong. There's the soap, nice, dark. Looks good enough to eat, don't it? Don't it? That's going to be finished off with bulk drinks after shave splash from Sterling. Razor for today is going to be the Flat Boy. Yep, the Flat Boy, the Razorini Flat Boy. Now, I'm going to be a bit scared of this one today because in there today, I'm going to be using the uh, the Kai, the Kai blade. This is reported to be just a little bit wider than your average blade. So it's known to be on the uh, aggressive side, just because of that little bit of extra width. Certainly if you put it in the leaf uh, razor for the head shave, you'll, uh, you'll scalp yourself. You'll certainly draw some blood just because of the fact it's just that little bit wider. Brush for today. You know what? The name of the brush is just going to be bloody head. <laughs> I won't have to put the glasses on. It's a cardinal anyway. <sighs> How did I forget a word like Omega, Evo, Cardinal? I don't know. Don't just throw these things together, you know. Yeah, I do. It's a very nice brush. Very soft tips, like a silver tip. Good backbone, good handle, solid brush. For a change, we're going to be face lowering today. Okay? So first of all, let's get the blade into the Razorini flat boy. Here we go, base plate, top plate. Some people do struggle to load the blade into this uh, head. Those are the dimensions. But I am worried about this, because uh, there's the blade, the Kai blade, no markings whatsoever. Just putting the specs on. Click the blade down over the posts, that way you can ensure it fits properly. Cap on, press down with the fingers and screw on the handle. Check the alignment and yep, <laughs> it's a fair bit of blade showing there fellas. Oh yes. Okay. Brass head, nickel plated, stainless steel handle. Available from JJ Shaves, Mr. John June. So let's get on with the show. Let's get on with the show. Just wet the face here. Got a bit of a suntan, I don't even noticed. But uh oh from Austria, believe it or not. It's actually sunbathing in the snow. Yep, sunbathing in the snow. You get a hell of a time when you're sunbathing in the snow. You really do. Yeah, so uh that's the brush. Wetted. And I'm gonna get it loaded in about 30 seconds. I'm counting. Still counting. And we'll do about 15 seconds in the opposite direction, just to make sure I'm getting even wear on the brush. That's what I like to do. 15 seconds in one direction, 15 seconds in the other. Same with blades. Just make sure you're getting even wear out your brush. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I'm gonna scoop off the excess lava, little brown tinge to it. No, you're not doing a head shave, Jim. <laughs> That's what I did last time. That's what I did an hour or two ago. Dear me. Well, I nearly did it again. So I just use this out of the tub as a sort of uh, pre-shave. So as you know, I don't really go in for pre-shave that much. You might, I don't know. I, I don't know if I get anything out of them, to be honest. Only you can see the brown, the light brown tinge of the soap here. It's a while since I've uh, base lavered. I've had lavered quite a lot. So, well, I always head lavered when I don't shave. But uh, face shaving seems to be mostly bowl lavering. I like it. There's a thing, I remember years and years ago, 
when I was a kid, teenager, I don't know, somewhere around about that time. I always remember watching an old movie, Gangsters in the Barbershop. I just used to love the sound of the barber lathering up in the mug. And it's a sound that's always stuck with me. For some reason. The colour of the soap, the tinge of the soap is actually uh, matches my uh, suntan. Put my water. This is why I don't usually face lava on camera because uh, the time scale. I don't like videos to be too long. As we all know, stirring takes a good old amount of water. Another reason why I don't like face lowering on camera. But I'm going to need a good lava today with that blade I'm using. I don't know if it's any sharper than a feather. But, uh, I think it's known as a more aggressive blade as a feather simply because of the uh, one down the handle look. The extra width of the blade, we should see. So I'm actually in the town of Clandidno at the moment, Clandidno. You don't see me doing that much clean enough. So here goes. Yeah, it was actually day off today. I was up early this morning. Oh, yes. I'm in a rush, actually. Dinner. Fish and chips at the hotel. Oh yeah, feel the difference at Kai, you can, you can feel it. You know, in comparison with uh, a regular blade, size blade. And it's not looking around. Very light going here, very light. Sounds great, doesn't it? This is the only razor I've got with me this week, actually, the uh, flat bullet. It's rare for me to not be with uh, my 6X S. And uh, I do believe there's quite a few, a few of you out there who uh, have this razor. And it is a fun razor. Yeah, it's uh, it definitely feels a lot more efficient with this Kai in. But still, very smooth indeed. Yeah, so as I say, I was up early this morning, that's a visit the laundrette. Do my washing. As I've been on the road for so long. And uh, in this town, it's known for goats. 
So early in the morning, I said, walk around the town, in the town centre, and you'll know, bump into goats. Goats come down from the hills. They're actually a gift to the town from uh, Queen Victoria. And uh, during lockdown, when it, the first lockdown when everyone was uh, deadly everywhere, ghostly silence, the uh, the goats got confidence, came down in masses, and they still come down into the town every morning. Quite nice. Cleared the streets. The lava's just thinning up a bit there. And uh, as you saw, I had a good 30 second load on. Another reason why I like to bomb lava. No blood in the sink yet. So I've just been out for lunch, well, earlier, when I uh, to Weather Spoons, those in all the British pub chain, Weather Spoons. Got myself a beef madras. And a couple of sherbets, a couple of beers. Exercise and extreme caution. I think the last time I was using this uh, flat boy on on the camera, I was actually bracken saying I haven't been cut yet. Then the next stroke, wallop. The red stuff. No, not wine. The red stuff flowed. I love the shape of the uh, head of the ra uh, Razorini and Flat Boy. It's just snugly fits into my chin there. And this is sort of across the grave for me. Under the old jawline here. I do love using this uh, flat boy. It's uh, sort of unique. You can't get bored of shaving when you use one of these babies. And then it's just Joking those bristles down. I've still to try this on the head yet. I will get around to it. I think the reason I haven't is, uh, well, I have my pair percent shavers, the leaf and the uh, the twig. Exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Been so busy, I have only just gotten around to uh, answering a lot of your comments. I do apologise for that. I was actually sat in the pub doing it. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to the pub for just for a little bit here. I definitely prefer bowl lava to uh, face lava, as I say. Uh, you always know you've got enough lava to last a shave. And, uh, oh, you have a bowl of lava, you only rarely run that. But different brushes, performing different ways. Oh, I do like this brush. I love this scent. Not my favourite by no means, uh, by any means. I 
Get it nice and wetted up for the final pass. Are we all doing? Are we all uh, full of the joys of spring? There we go. That's got enough of the last pasta. We've got a bit in the, quite a bit in the bush really. So I've got to slow some off on the base of the air. Uh, this one's got <clears throat> Not even short of soap. Right, a tiny, tiny wash basin at this hotel. Against the grain. So I'm not going overly cautious here. I'm certainly not scared of the flat boy. What days are doing a good shave and produce a spot of claret now at this late stage? See, I'm getting the neck, it's tremendous. Now this is where I was worried about having so much blade exposure on this Kai blade and the uh, flat bar does have a lot of blade exposure anyway. Tell you what this flat boy is great for getting right under the nose. No messing. No messing whatsoever. You can tell when the whiskers are gone here, you just listen to them. Listen for them. Yeah, so I'm uh, currently shaving what's supposed to be uh, one of the most aggressive blades out there. I find the Kai does feel a lot smoother than the uh, Feather. As I say, I think, wow, wow, is that? I think it's got the name aggressive simply because just a little bit of extra width there. I'm just gonna do a cold rinse there, fellas. Sorry about the noise. You know what? I can't even get the bloody cold water to flow. Hotels, eh? Oodling in them. So I'm actually rinsing off in there. Uh, tepid water at the moment. Not good, I know. Right, dry off. Completely BBS, I can tell that from there. Uh, from the rinse. But 
Well, that was grand. That was grand. Superb. BBS. Neck wasn't a problem whatsoever. I think that Kai Blide. Kai Blide. Ty Bride. Kai Blade. Paired with that Razor Innie Flat Boy. It's a, it's a winning combination. Okay. Well, just not over 10 minutes left. Before I go down for my dinner. So I'll go for the splash. Good stuff. Oh yeah, we do have a, we do have a definitely have a burn going on here. Well, not much you want. Oh, what a scent! Malibu and bubblegum. It's nice, sweet. Melon, pineapple. Have a smell. That's nice. That is. Bloody nice. Okay. Just for the quick usual a recap. So for today was the boat drinks by Sterling. Excellent price soap soap. The amount of soap you get in the tub, incredible. Brush for today. <laughs> I know for the Amiga Evo Cardinal in the uh, this maroon handle. Razor for today. Was the Razorini flat boy in there? I had a Kai blade on its first use. I'm going to be using these Kai's a lot more with this uh, flat boy, I think. It's an uh, excellent combination. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. You all stay safe. Thanks for all the comments, likes, dislikes, new subscribers. I appreciate you all. Catch you next time, guys. See you further down the line. Bye bye now.